So I'm dead excited to be here today at Hope Technology. This is a fantastic UK manufacturing success story. Uh, I'm here with Paul Housestead. I'm here to learn about some productivity improvements that they've seen thanks to the machine we have behind us here, which is a brother uh, Speedio R650 X1. Paul, let's start with a part in question here. You make bicycle parts, this of which is one of them. Can you tell us what it is? It's this uh, V4 brake caliper, a uh, hydraulic braking system. And is it made in its entirety here on this machine behind us? Um, no, it's made in two operations. The first operation is done on a five-axis machine, and then we finish it on the three-axis Brother Speedio. Okay, so the machine behind us here is a twin pallet. Are you doing two operations on here then? No, just one operation. It's the same operation on both pallets. Right. And, and this machine hasn't been here very long, has it? A matter of, of months or maybe just a year. Yeah. What, why the change or why did you bring this um, into the uh, productivity uh, arena? To, to replace all the, an older machine that was over 20 years old. Okay, and, and what was the reason for this selection though? It, mu it must have offered you... Uh, maybe improvements in the speed you could make the component, amongst other things? Yeah, we've had the older um, brothers in the past doing different operations, so we thought it would be perfect for doing this operation as well. And what sort of reduction in, in cycle time have you seen thanks to this faster uh, brother machine? We've got, on the old, old machine, it was roughly half an hour for three components. We've got that down to roughly 20 minutes. I've also heard that the machine maybe not just faster but uses a lot less power can you give us an idea of how much more efficient it is yeah it's roughly it uses a third less power than the older machine and with components like this paul what, what are you machining to tolerance wise and does the machine handle it um, yeah we work it to about plus or minus or five millimeter tolerance and the big plus spindle which i know this speedio now comes with has that helped you improve uh, productivity or improve the finished part in any way? Yeah, it allows us to use face and taper tool holders, which produces a lot better surface finish on the top, top of the caliper. And what about the increase in the tools as well? Because I believe from previous machines, you've gone from 14 tools now up to 22. Uh, how does that help? Yeah, it means we can um, store a lot more cutters in the machine. You're not swapping and changing all the time. I want to now look, just look at this part quickly, Paul. Could you tell us about the operations that you do on the brother, i.e. you mill around the edges, you do these holes, you then do the slots. Could you just talk us through that? Yeah, well, the, the, the um, first operation is made out of a piece of extrusion. So it leaves, obviously, the stock material that it was gripping on. Um, we machine all that off first, uh, and then we finish all the surfaces, uh, finish the top face, and do the chamfering. So it's, it's mainly cosmetic work on the second side. The, the first uh, machining process then that's done off of the brother machine, why don't you do it on here? Because simply because it's a five axis application? Yeah, it's a five axis application. There's, there's all sorts of different holes at different angles for the um, bleed nipple and the, where the um, pipe comes out, the pipe hole. And then obviously there's a slot goes in that way. So there's a lot of different angles. Uh, well, so trying to dig into the detail of y your mentality here with this end, how come you don't do the finishing operation uh, that you're doing on the brother on the machine where you're doing the five axis machining as well? Uh, it's, only, it's only a three, uh, three axis operation really, so we can and bolt it down and it's, and it's quicker to do it on a twin pallet brother. So it would be an overkill to be doing it on the, on the current machine yeah. and plus much faster here yeah. on this particular model. Yeah, that's correct, yeah. What about some other features uh, behind the installation that have helped you? Um, it's got a lot bigger table, 800 by 600, which means we can get more parts on on the, t on the table per pallet. Um, also, it's got a 16,000 RPM spindle, so we can cut it up to 30 metres a minute. That, so that, you're cutting up to 30 metres a, a minute. I know before you were around about 10 metres a minute, so that's a massive Im improvement yeah. in speed. I suppose that's responsible for the cycle time reduction. Yeah, and also the rapid speeds is a lot faster as well, and, and also the tool change. As its tool change, it's moving to position to start its next cut. Okay, and what about the control? You the control on this as well. I, I believe it's got much more memory. Yeah. Does that help you? Yeah, the old the old um, machine, we had to sub routine the parts um, to get the programs into the memory. Whereas now we can copy the parts across in Gibbscam and fire it straight into the machine. And also we can store all the programs in the machine now. Whereas before. We had to store them on a separate system and input one at a time. So every time we swap jobs, we're having to take programs in and out of the machine. 
There's also this big discussion that happens commonly about BT40 machines versus BT30. You embrace both uh, technologies here, but you are starting to lean towards the 30 taper as a solution. Why is that? Um, yeah, well, a lot of the parts we make are quite small parts, so we're not remo removing huge amounts of metal, so it's a lot better for us. We still use a BT40 for, for, for bigger operations. But the BT30 machine is also a lot smaller, so does that, I suppose that means you can get more machines in a, in a smaller area? Yeah, yeah, we, we use quite a few um, different BT30 machines already, so it was just a natural progression, really. And with you, with you cutting more um, parts faster, does it, does it kind of put more onus on getting the swarf out the back of the machine? Yeah. Is that something that you have to consider, and also your coolant filtration? Uh, and, and the power of the coolant coming through the spindle, are all those factors? Yeah, well, the, old, the older machines have um, sort of a, a runoff for the swarf at the back, it has to be manually removed, whereas the two new Brother 650s have got a, a swarf conveyor system on the back with a skip, which is a lot better. And that through spindle coolant as well, I believe you've got 15 bar through spindle coolant. Do you think that's responsible for helping you uh, getting a better surface finish as well as, uh, as that big plus spindle? Um, yeah, it helps with definitely with the drilling if you're doing some deep drilling to play the swarf out a lot better. And the machine's one thing, but what about the company that supplied it, Paul? Uh, if you had a few words for our viewers on our channel about White House machine tools, how did they handle the installation of these new machines? Uh, the, the installation went very smoothly. Um, everything was done in a, in a reasonable time frame. Um, and do you have much training? Did you need much training taking the new control into account, or is it just changed with the uh, the speed of the control rather than the mechanics and how it works? The new control is very similar to the old one. Um, the applications engineer came in, went through all the changes, watched us um, actually machining parts. And when he was, you know, until he was happy with it, we we'd got everything sorted, and then obviously he left. And he even came in when we bought the second one just to go through that as well, even though we already knew what, what we were doing with the machines. And these aren't the first brother machines you've got. You, you've got existing uh, products from White House machine tools. What's the differences in your opinion between the, the older machines and the new technology? Well, the older machines were very fast, but these new machines are even faster, which is taking it up to the next level.